Purim and Pesach are intrinsically linked, not just because they're so close together on the calendar. But both stories begin with the Jewish people in crisis facing their demise and end with our redemption. And also both stories have a hero who has a strong connection to the royal house and yet chooses to identify with the Jewish people even during times of severe danger. In fact, at one point, in a very often quoted line in the Megillah, Mordecai approaches Esther, imploring her to speak to the king, and says to her, do not think that you will be safe in the king's palace. If you are silent, redemption will come to the Jewish people, and you and your father's house will perish. You and your father's house very strong connection to identity. In the Mishneh Torah, the Rambam highlights the people who will suffer karet and loss of identity. Uh, these people are um, informers, those who are apostates, and those who ban circumcision, among many others. Those who don't stand with their community. That is to say, they will suffer karet and loss of identity. But I'm not so sure that these are punishments so much as a natural consequence of their actions. If they're choosing to not stand with their people in this world, how can they be with their people in the next one? And if they're not identifying with their people now, then they're performing a self-imposed karate and loss of identity. What Purim and Pesach and all of these stories teach us about identity and our peoplehood is that you don't need to be a great leader. You don't need to be a great hero or a queen. All you need to do is stand with your people. And this is how our people will survive. This is how we are unvanquished. Performing our rituals, living with our history and being part of the Jewish community. That's the larger story of all of Jewish history. And that is how you can identify and keep your identity with our people.